back to my channel. Today I'm here with a bare face because I want to do something a little bit different than what I usually do for y'all. I received a package from a brand uh, that I'm going to test out for you. This is my first bit of PR, but no, they are not paying me to make this video, so I'm going to be as honest as I can. Um, I received the Professional Portable Makeup Brush Set from Vanity Planet. Now anyone who is um, familiar with this brand will know that this set retails for around $100. Recently it was on sale for $70, then it was on sale for $30. It'll eventually go back up, but right now it is still on sale for $30 as far as I know. <coughs> and I will link that in the description. So I'm just going to get right into this and I'm going to try to show you how to use as many of these brushes as I can doing a full face. So we're just going to open it up. You'll know I'm challenged when I open things. Alright, so first things first, it's very good quality packaging here. Comes in this leather carry case, snaps right there. You got all your little brushes in here. And you just unsnap it and to show you that I have not used any of these yet when you open it it has got the brand name down here and these are all still in the plastic so I've not yet dived into these but I'm ready to dive into them with you guys so give me just a second to get myself all together and figure out exactly where every brush needs to be used and I will be right back this will be a longer video if you are not subscribed to my channel before I get hit that red subscribe button right down there and hit that bell if you want to be notified every time I post new content I've got a lot of good stuff going I've gotten a lot of the newer palettes some new stuff to play with new stuff to show y'all some little Amazon finds all that good stuff that I know y'all are into and I have a dupe coming up soon. Who doesn't love that? So give me just one second and I'll see y'all with makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so I am super close in because if y'all haven't figured out by now, I almost always do my eyes first just in case of fallout and to avoid any messes that I can't get rid of. So today we're going to use the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm sure you've seen it. Everybody has. But here's the inside just in case. I'm going to head and prime my eyelids because I don't really use a brush for that. So I'm going to go in with this medium blender. Where am I going to go in? Yeah. I'm going to go with this medium blender brush and just take this and this shade Tempura right here. And I just dropped my ABH brush. Look at me go. And I'm just going to take that. Picks up the pigment really well. And just sweep it all over my eyelid and my crease to set my MAC paint pot. And y'all know this palette has some fallout on its own, so no blame there. Then we are going to go in with Raw Sienna right here with the same brush for now. And we're just going to take some of that on here and put it into the crease. I can say right off the bat, this is getting the product on the brush and getting it on my eye very well. I like that they're almost pointed. They have the brand on every brush and every brush says what it's for. And that is very useful if you're never quite sure what your brush is for. Like me, I always just guess and use whatever feels best. So we're gonna go ahead and get this crease transition down and I am going to apologize now for this being such a long video I'm probably going to shut up in a minute and try to speed through some things but I just want to be sure that I get to give y'all feedback as I go so that y'all can see kind of how these brushes are working in the process and this is a first impression and so far it's a good one <clears throat> So after Raw Sienna, I'm just going to be a little brave. Or no, I'm not. I'm going to do my regular because I don't want to risk it. I am going to dip into Red Ochre right here. 
And don't make fun of me if that's not the right way to say it. I'm from the South. We say everything different. So I'm going to speed through this and just stick this color in my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to try something a little bit different. This says it is a smudging brush. And I'm going to dip into Cypress Umber with it just to get that in my outer corner. And I will probably have to go back and blend it out with my medium blender. So let's speed this up. Okay, so that actually did a pretty good job on blending out that dark color. Okay, I'm going to take this large domed shaper and I'm just going to go directly into Primavera right here. It's a really nice gold. I'm just going to try to pack that on the lid. Y'all know that I always pack on the lid with my fingers, but like I said, I want to try to use as many brushes as possible and so far we're only on two. So, I'm just going to grab this one here, picked up really nicely, and just put it on the lid. Okay guys, so shockingly enough, that actually almost worked. Um, it laid down the shadow really nice. There's not quite as much right on my lash line as I would like, but I mean, it's definitely there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put liner there in a second anyway, so it's all right. Okay, so that is it for this part until we get done with our face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner first, just so I can get that out of the way and I'm gonna try this little baby rounded liner brush with ColourPop cream gel in Swerve and this is something I got it a while back but I haven't actually tried it yet so we are gonna see how this goes if I can get it open <laughs> yeah, I literally got this super recently and hadn't even opened it yet <clears throat> but there we go we are into the product it's just a regular gel liner and i'm going to pull a mirror up close so i can see what i'm doing a little better and i will try not to get out of frame for y'all okay here we go Whew. Y'all look at that wing. This is actually going better than I could have expected. And please do not <laughs> judge how well this brush works based on my wing skills. Because if y'all have ever noticed, I don't do wings on camera for a reason. <laughs> so let's just wing you up and up and fill you in all right guys so they're almost even they're not the sharpest this one's a little bit sharper but again i'm just not good at winged liner like just a thing but this brush does work really well for the purpose it is intended for if you know how to put on winged liner I bet it would work amazing for you, just not for me, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use this flat top stippling brush. This is kind of like a, not a kabuki, but I mean it's the kind that when I use a brush, I use this. And my face is already primed. So we're just going to go in with our Fenty <clears throat> and squirt that on my hand. And get going and see what kind of coverage we can get. Let me zoom y'all out just a bit so you can actually see my face. Okay. So we're just going to pick it up on the brush. And just start buffing this 
into the face. And I may switch to the regular foundation brush in a second. I don't know yet. But we will see. This is actually, considering Fenty is just kind of a medium coverage with a brush, this is giving me a pretty, pretty decent little coat here. Alright guys, so foundation is on. This gave me a pretty good, even, medium coverage kind of feel which is fine, I don't have any breakouts right now, and I'm about to cover all my problems with shape tape. So, this is definitely pretty good. I don't typically use a brush to put on foundation, but it definitely worked. So, we are gonna go ahead and jump in with some concealer, and we are gonna use this little concealer brush to blend it out. So let's speed this up and see what happens, guys. So that's blended out. I will say that what I do like about that is I can get way closer to my actual lash line. And if y'all didn't believe me, I covered up a little bit of this horrible liner that I did because I suck at wings. And uh, it's actually covered. Who would have thought? Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is just take some translucent powder. This is out of BoxyCharm. It's by Studio Makeup. <clears throat> and just take that and set my under eyes and we are going to put that on not you with this it's just a regular big fluffy powder brush and we're just gonna put it on here so we can set this concealer in to avoid creases I don't know why y'all because it's bedtime <laughs> and I'm gonna go to sleep soon that's all right. Okay. So, powder brush is awesome. We're going to go back to that baby in a minute. But the next thing we are going to do is go in with our bronzer. This is our Tarte bronzer. And we're actually, yeah, we're going to use the same brush. And just get into this bronzer. I actually picked it up really well. And just go over where we contour. So, speed up, Tom. Okay, so that gave me a really good coverage. <clears throat> kind of blended in on its own, honestly. That looks really nice. So, like always, same brush. <clears throat> And my Tarte blush. And y'all are going dead. This stinking camera always goes dead when I do a long video. So we are just going to get this blush on here. Okay. Looks nice. Looks nice. So next we're going to go in with our Shade A Light palette. <clears throat> and this kit comes with this nice angled contour brush. So we're just going to take one of the shades in here, dip in, and draw our little line. And this is actually letting me build it up so it doesn't get too dark. And it's looking very nice to me. I don't know about y'all, but I like it. I like it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take, hmm, I'm actually going to take this little precision concealer brush and just go ahead and snatch this nose real quick. Okay, 
And since I don't have a sponge over here, because I'm just using the brushes, I'm just going to blend this out with my finger a little bit. And hopefully that'll uh, do the trick. If I didn't have eyeliner on my finger, it would probably work even better. Okay, so the nose looks smaller, always important. So next we're just going to go ahead and go with our eyebrows. This is just a brow wax, which I'm probably not supposed to use to just do my eyebrows, but I do. So we're going to go in with this angled liner brush. It looked like the best candidate for this job. And just go ahead and fill these in. I'm not going to go crazy with them. But I do want to be sure all my little bald spots are covered. All right, so the brows are on. Not too bad, and I'm not even sure if that's what this brush is for necessarily. But it worked, and that's what matters around here. So, the next thing we are going to go ahead and do is our lower lash line. Or, well, let me toss this eyeliner. All right. So, now we're going to go with our lower lash line. We have another medium blending brush, which is perfect. And we're just going to go into the same colors we used earlier and just focus them on the lower lash line. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do there. And for the purposes of this video, mascara is not important, so let me do that real quick. Okay guys, so uh, one of the last things I need to do besides my lips is my highlight. I'm going in with my Holy Grail Champagne Pop. And y'all do not judge. This is the only brush that came messed up. But we're still going to see how well it works. And I'm going to email them probably about this brush. But we're just going to take this fan brush. And highlight. And this actually works really well. Even if it is a little frumpy and messed up. It is amazing. But I will tell you that they have amazing customer service. And so far, every time I have needed help, I have gotten an almost immediate response, like less than a day. So, no shade there. They're an awesome company. So, we are blinding. My coworkers are texting me right now, y'all. I don't even know if they've ever seen this channel. But shout out to them, because hardly anyone ever texts me. Okay, so the last thing left besides setting spray, which is not relevant to this video, is going to be my lips. I'm just going to go ahead and line them. Okay, so lips are lined, and in an effort to use every brush humanly possible, I'm going to take my Tartus Lip Paint in Bestie, which I just got. Shout out to my group where we trade things, because that's how I got it. <clears throat> And I'm going to use this little lip brush that comes in here and just pull the color off the wand and use that to apply. So we're just going to take it. Okay, and that is definitely a very good brush, and lip brushes can get super messy. And I'm going to clean it shortly, but it comes with a cap, so this is definitely very travel friendly. Okay, so for my final thoughts, we used every brush in here except for the Little Kabuki and this foundation brush, which maybe I should have used. But I just don't like these kind of brushes to do my foundation too often. But I will try it later. <clears throat> so out of 15 brushes, I think we used like 13 of them. I don't even know how I did that. But I think we used like 13 out of 15 brushes. And I can tell you these two feel really soft and really dependable. But as an overall thoughts, there go my coworkers. 
on these brushes. I think that they're just incredible. Like I, y'all, I'm, I'm pulling a Laura. I'm so, I'm too much. That's what I am. But I just want to like highlight right here. Y'all even tell? Ooh, it is shiny. Okay. Anyways, before I got distracted, um, this is a wonderful, wonderful brush set. Um, I can get a code for y'all if you want to get these, and it'll give you, I don't know how much off, but it'll give you a certain percentage off if I can get a code. <clears throat> I can do that. Uh, right now, I'm not sponsored. I don't make any money, but if I do that, I will make a little bit on each sale, so if y'all want a code, Get some extra dollars off these brushes let me know again this brand is vanity planet they've got this nice vp this is their palette travel brush set um these are i do remember it these are vegan cruelty free all that good stuff uh normally i don't pay attention to that because you all know that usually i just use cheap amazon brushes nothing too fancy but these are the real deal uh you go to vanityplanet.com focus focus right here and if you want to look up some pictures hashtag vp beauty i'll have some posted as well this brush set is incredible i've definitely really enjoyed using these and these will probably be my new travel set maybe my set at home too um I hope y'all enjoyed. If you have any questions about this brand, these brushes, anything you want to know, check the description for all the links. I'll try to link some of their socials as well as the website and the specific link to these brushes. They have all kinds of skincare, brushes, some makeup, everything. So um, yeah, I'm just so excited you guys. This is the first company that's actually sent me something for free because they wanted me to do it. And I'm so honored. Thanks Vanity Planet for putting a little bit of trust in me and for wanting your product on my channel. That's amazing. You have a very, very nice brush set here and I can't wait to hopefully try out some more products really soon. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content, more like this, more brushes, reviews any brands you think I should reach out to now of course I'm not to the level that I can reach out to Anastasia or Tarte yet but if you know of any smaller brands that have amazing products that are looking for ambassadors that you would like to see some reviews on let me know and I'll see what I can do and uh, I guess that's it I'll see y'all in a couple of days hope y'all enjoy yourselves and I hope you loved this video leave me some likes so that I know this is some content that you'd be interested in. I'll see y'all later, guys.